Hello everybody and welcome back to Old School RuneScape. Today we're going to be doing the Observatory Quest. Not because it's the most important quest of the game or anything, but specifically for the XP rewards because it is one of the best quests for crafting XP that doesn't require a level that we don't have. And we need crafting. There's quite a few quests that require it up in the 20 range. And this quest should get us up in the 20s. So this will be good because cr training crafting isn't as fun in old school. Oops, I just picked up the cat. But it isn't as fun in old school as it is in RuneScape 3. Uh, but let's talk to the professor, I think. Maybe the assistant. I don't know which. What would you like to talk about? About the quest. Hi, I was... Welcome to the magnificent wonder of the observatory, where wonder is all around you, where the stars can be clutched from the heavens. Wow, nice intro. Why, thanks. How might I help you? Um... An observatory? Of course, we have a superb telescope up in the observatory on the hill. A truly marvelous invention, the likes of which you'll never behold again. Well, it would be if it worked. Don't interrupt. What? It doesn't work? Oh, no, no, no. Don't listen to him. He's joking, aren't you, my faithful assistant? Nope, dead serious. Hasn't been working for a long time. Arg, get back to work and stop sticking your nose in. So, it's broken? How come? Oh, I suppose there's no use keeping it a secret. Did you see those houses outside? Up on a hill? Yes, I've seen them. It's a horde of goblins. Since they moved here, they've caused nothing but trouble. Last week, my telescope was tampered with. Now, parts need replacing before it can be used again. They've even been messing around in the dungeons under this area. Something needs to be done. Strikes me that this visitor could help us. Stop being so rude. Although, he has a point. What do you say? What, me? Sounds interesting. How can I help? What can I do for you? Can't make up my mind on what I'm saying. Oh, thanks so much. I shall need some materials for the telescope so it can be used again. Let's start with three planks of wood for the telescope base. My assistant will help you with obtaining these, won't you? As if I don't have enough work to do, seems I don't have a choice. How would they have any work to do if the observatory is broken? Isn't that kind of their job? Oh well. Go talk to him if you need advice. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, luckily I already have the supplies. What would you like to talk about? The Azuricori quest. It's my helping hand, back again. Do you have the planks yet? Yes, I've got them. Here they are. Well done. This will make a big difference. Now, the bronze for the tube. Oh, assistant. Okay, okay. Ask me if you need any help, Kebab. Can you imagine how lame this would be without a guide? And every time he says you need something, you have to go run around the entire world and get it. I can't imagine. What would you like to talk about? Talk about the observatory quest. Hi, the traveler returns. Still working hard? Some of us are. What did I tell you about speaking when spoken to? So, Kebab, you have the bronze bar? I certainly do. Here you go. Great, now all I need is the lens made. Please get me some molten glass. Oi, lazy bones. What? I'm not lazy. Not you, I'm talking to my assistant. Calm down, old man. I heard. Kebab, I'm here if you need any help. Thank you. Wait a minute. Who are you calling old? Calm down, people. Okay, what would you like to talk about? Talk about the observatory quest. This is really annoying. How are you getting on finding me some molten glass? Here it is. Excellent work. Let's make the lens. They'll need to be made to an exact shape and size. Well, obviously, hence why we have a lens mold. Not anymore. One of those goblins took it. Great, just what I need. Kebab. I don't suppose you could find it. I'll have a look. Where should I start? No idea. You could ask my useless assistant if you want. What have I done to deserve this? Okay. Let's get on up here, though. We're off in the middle of nowhere of RuneScape land, as we are now going to call it. Let's head on downstairs, though. If I remember correctly, 
We need to go down here. Look at all these goblins. Crazy. Just crazy. And if I remember correctly, and the guide I'm looking at is correct, then it'll be here. Maybe in this chest? I don't know. We'll find out in a second. Not the limbs mold, but the item we need. Yep, the kitchen key! Hooray! Now I just gotta find this kitchen, wherever it is. I imagine it's somewhere down here. The goblins are lost too, so that's okay. We just need to go find the kitchen, wherever it may be. And enter it. I think we're gonna need to go up here, right? I don't know. Could be wrong. Don't really know. Oh, kitchen! Oh, kitchen! Is this the kitchen? This looks like the kitchen. And of course, there's a sleeping guard here. Look at him, he's level 1. Oh my god. Now he's level 4 too! Ah! So scary. But no, seriously, we're strong enough. I brought just enough armor and weaponry that we should have no trouble winning. Especially if I enable this prayer. He's actually hitting pretty well, but with the prayer, he has no chance. Look at that. Five. Ow. Okay, maybe I should enable another prayer. Now you can't hit me, little jerk. You can try, but you will fail. Yep, I'm winning now, for sure. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll enable the last prayer. Just get him already. He has too much health. Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. This is just silly. Oh, wow, one. That is so amazing. A two. Wow, the strength prayer is really doing it. All right, let's get inside. Okay, you had better be quick. There may be more guards about. You're talking to yourself there. I don't know why you said you. Oh, no, they've been using the mold to cook stew. How terrible. How many coins did this guy drop? Oh, 20. I'm rich now. Okay, I think we need to go ahead and head back out the way we came. Could be wrong, but that's what I'm going to do. Bring it back to the guy. Look at these people. Naghead, Wagchin. Yep. Okay, get back over here, guy. I took a lot of damage from that. A lot more than I expected. I'm going to go ahead and turn on this. Since I am not in need of any more combat, as far as I'm aware. Let's go ahead and go through here, though. And get this over with. This is also a very short quest. Another reason why I chose it today. No, it looks like we were supposed to go the other way, right? He must have said... No, he never said to meet him there. No, oh, there he is. Okay. Did you bring me the mold? I certainly have. You'll never guess what they were doing with it. Well, from the smell, I'd guess cooking some vile concoction. Wow, good guess. Well, here you go. Please don't give that to him. Last time he tried any crafting, I had to spend a week cleaning up after the explosion. Explosion? Mmm, yes. I think in this instance, you had probably better do it. I suppose it's better I don't ask. You can use the mold with molten glass to make a new lens. Yay, I got my molten glass back. There we go. Now what? What would you like to talk about? Talk about the observatory quest. Is the lens finished? Yes, here it is. You may as well take this mold, too. Wonderful. At last, I can fix the telescope. Would you accompany me to the observatory? You simply must see the telescope in operation. Sounds interesting. Count me in. Superb. You'll have to go via the dungeon under the Goblin Settlement, seeing as the bridge is broken. You'll find stairs up to the observatory from there. Okay. See you there. And he is gone. Yep. Alright, let's get up there. And if we're real lucky, we'll get um, magic experience from this quest. But it's random, so we have like a... One out of five chance of that actually happening, but wouldn't it be nice if we got some magic levels? 
I mean, any of the skills it gives, it'll, it'll be nice, but magic would be the nicest. Yeah, yeah, it's not that dangerous down there. Okay, so... If I want to get to where I'm going, I need to go up top, I believe, and I need to use my handy-dandy Ring of Exploring thingy to boost this so that we can continue on. All these mushrooms, it's just ridiculous. Who built these dungeons, though, and why? They seem kind of pointless to me. Whatever. Come on, nameless cat who is stuck on a wall. The guard is back and asleep again. It's good stuff. Came back from life just to fall asleep. That is totally the way you do it. Oh no, my prayer points ran out. Whatever shall I do? I don't know. It is pretty much the end of the world there. Let's recharge my energy again. Because I don't feel like spending any more time than necessary in here. Alright, we made it to the ladder. Good stuff. Well, it's not really a ladder. It just looks like a ladder on the minimap. Ah, the great eye into the heavens. Okay. Yes. Fancy. In we go. Oh man, there's that guy. Hi, Professor. Oh, hi there. I'm just adding the finishing touches. Okay, don't let me interrupt. Thank you. Right, let's get this finished. Yep, walk over there. Kebab, I'm just going upstairs to finish off. Righto. In goes the lens. Come on, hurry up. Looking good. Well, are you done? One final adjustment, okay. Now, just to clarify, we're going to be using this thing in the middle of the day, right? Because that seems kind of pointless. Not going to see many stars in the middle of the day. And there is no nighttime, so that's that. This isn't Darkscape. Oh no, I meowed! Except it wasn't me. Look at this thing. It is a thing of beauty, I guess. They really wanted to show it off. I guess they were really proud of the model or something. But it's not even see-through. It's opaque. Lame. Oh well. What would you like to talk about? About the observatory quest. Hello, friend! Hi, this is really impressive. Certainly is. Please take a look through the telescope and tell me what you see. Come on, luck. Give me the good one. What, just click there? Okay. I don't know which ones give magic experience, but I'm really hoping... I don't know which one this is. Uh, I know which one this is. But, okay. Yes. What would you like to talk about? Talk about the observatory quest. I've had a look through the telescope. What did you see? If you're not sure, you can find out by looking at the star charts dotted around the walls downstairs. It was... Uh, which one specifically... It was a Taurus, apparently. That doesn't sound like one that's going to give magic XP. It really doesn't. Taurus! That's exactly it! Yes, woohoo! That's Taurus, the bull. Yeah, strength potion, yay. Bye. Uh, by Ceridoman's earlobes, you must be a friend of the gods indeed. Look in your backpack for your award and payment for your work. Okay. Yep. Good stuff. Ah, exactly to crafting 20, apparently. That's good. We can now cut sapphires and craft sapphire rings. And I don't know. Did it give me strength XP? 
I really don't know. I thought it was supposed to, but maybe not. It says it's just random, but I didn't get... I didn't get... I don't know. Obviously, it wasn't magic. And it might have given me one, but... I don't know which. Whatever it was, it didn't give me a level, so... Who cares? Who cares? Okay, let's get out of here, though. Kandoran Monastery, here we come! Let's get that prayer back. So yeah, that's a quest complete. We're now level 20 crafting, which should open up a few new quests for us, and just, in general, get us closer to doing more quests. And I probably have some sapphires in my bank I can cut now, which I will do for the free XP. Let's get up to my bank real quick. After that, um... I do still have woodcutting to do. I still have three levels to gain for my current minor goal, as well as two fire making levels. So we could go work on that today. Try to get that out of the way so that the next two episodes can be spent doing more important things. I think that is a good goal. Let's get on over here. I think there's a quest that requires level 18 crafting. And there's one that requires level 20 for sure, at least one. And maybe more, I don't know. The point is, we have um, expanded our possibilities for future episodes. Okay, let's get you out of here. Um, why do I have a sapphire with me? Did he give me a sapphire? I don't even know. It's very convenient that I got a sapphire at the same time I obtained the ability to cut sapphires. Let's go. Yes, make all. Give me that XP. Level up incoming, guys. Yeah, level 21. We can now weave sacks and craft silver crossbow bolts. Good stuff. I wish that wouldn't interrupt the making of things. But it does. Anyway, look at that. We've already made significant progress towards the next level. Good stuff. Now, can we insert this back where it came from? No? Yes? No? In there. All right, so we've got all the Halloween junk. We have a rune axe, which I will equip. I'm gonna go ahead and take my armor off for now so that we can run further distances. And we need a tinderbox. I'll take that. All right, let's get on up to the maple trees. For this, our hopefully, uh, Maybe our last time training woodcutting this week. I know we won't get to level 50 this episode, but we should get to level 48. And we should at least gain one fire making level, if not two. And I think that should be good enough for now. Because I know I've been doing a bit much woodcutting lately. So we'll focus elsewhere. Maybe on combat, maybe Slayer. What was our Slayer task? Banshees? Uh, maybe I need to train magic. Or just do a quest that gives magic XP. I don't know which. We'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. Uh, do I still have a charge of this? I think I used them all, didn't I? Yeah. That'd be something else I could do, is work towards the skills required for the Explorer's Ring 2. I know those are some pretty high requirements, but we've started getting our levels up there now. Most of our levels are up in the 20s and above at this point. Only a handful are still below 20. And construction is just obviously going to stay down there for a while. There's something that gives construction XP, though, I think. A quest, but it probably requires, like, level 10 anyway. I think it might be Cold War that requires construction. I don't know. Pretty sure Cold War exists, right? I mean, I can check. It's not that hard. Cold War. It does exist. Oh, 34 construction. That's a lot higher than I thought. Oh, well. So, we do need to get construction going at some point. I'll figure it out. Fletching, of course, magic, definitely. Hunter, yeah. They're all important in their own way. Hunter, not really, though. Not with the barehanded impling catching not existing. If that existed, then sure, it'd be very important. I might have some maple logs in my bank, actually, but who cares, we'll leave them there. They can rot in my bank forever, for all I care. Oh gosh, what is this guy doing? He's glowing. He's glowing. 
Not sure why. Why he's running over there glowing. You'd think that if he was alking something over here that he would stay over here, but who knows. We're at agility 40. I do need to get back to agility. Maybe next week or something I'll start training agility again because obviously we're still running out of run energy way too fast. At level 40, we need more. We need more power in our legs. What's this guy doing? Level 3? Holy crap. What a noob. What a noob. Level 22, level 34. They're running together. And they're dressed similarly. Where's this guy going? 123, wow. I don't actually see many people in the hundreds now that I think about it. Old school's been out for a while, but it's really not that common still. Hmm. I mean, myself, I'm only 44, so... But that's because I'm extremely limited in my training. If I wasn't, I would probably be at least in the 70s, I would say. If I wasn't limited. I, I won't lie to myself and think that I would ever play enough to get 100 in a year in old school. Because that's not going to happen. It took me an extremely long time the first time around in the actual 07 game. AKA back in 07, when I'd already been playing for years, and I don't think I was level 100 in 07. Oh well. It also doesn't help that I have two accounts now. That never helps. Okay. This is basically my main account on Old School RuneScape and Darkscape. Because I don't really play on my actual main account much. I play on this one. So, that's a weird thing. It's just because I don't have enough time. I'd probably play more if I didn't have a job, but I kind of need money. This YouTube thing does not earn enough money, and it doesn't sound like it's ever going to earn as much as I need it to, just because of the whole continuing decline in advertising profits, and now the whole YouTube Red thing that who knows exactly what it means We'll find out. But if I could just earn the equivalent of minimum wage for this, that'd be nice. That's all I really ask. Minimum wage for the hours worked. Now, of course, getting like a full-time minimum wage job equivalent, so like 40 hours a week at minimum wage, that would really help the point where I could almost quit my job, almost, because, I mean, that's less than I make now, but at the same time, I wouldn't be driving to work, and that would be a decrease in costs, so who knows, but more importantly, if I ever could do that, if I ever, through some means, am able to make money off the internet, whether it be websites, or programming, or YouTube, or most likely a very large combination of all three, then I would definitely be able to put a lot more focus into this. Because right now it's just a rush. You know, when you've lost over 40 hours a week, including driving and stuff, and lunch breaks, and things, when you lose all that time, to complete unproductiveness, then yeah, you don't get a lot done. Anyway, though, how's this going? We're halfway through the inventory, and it's taking a while. It's taking a while. I don't think they posted any November news for old school, but I'll go check real quick because sometimes they can be a bit bad about posting these things on Twitter. Let me try to get over to their website somehow. If they ever had a proper website, that'd be nice, like oldschoolrs.com or something. No, nope, they just have the last update was on the 30th of the 30th of October. So that's not a thing that I'll be doing is reading that. It's too bad. It's too bad. That would be nice to know. I'm guessing they'll probably post it on Monday if they post it at all. I don't know that 
the behind the scenes posts are a standard thing in old school yet. They've done them before, but I don't know if they do them every month or not. It could be just a thing they do when they have a large list of updates. Tim X. Yes. Look at all these people running around. They need to calm down, seriously. Just sit still and chop a tree. It's what we were meant to do. So we're at 58 quest points now. It's not a bad number. Um, what is it for Legends Quest? Or Heroes Quest, for that matter. Let's see, Heroes Quest, which I doubt I have anywhere near the levels for. Yeah, look at that crap. 25 Herglore, 50 Mining, 53 Fishing, 53 Cooking. 55 quest points, though. So we've already got enough quest points, even before this today's quest, to do Heroes Quest. We just need to get our levels a lot higher. Honestly, though, not that much higher, really. I mean, for the fishing and cooking, sure. Those aren't very hard levels, though, just time-consuming. Mining and smithing, the same. Uh, I don't think it needed smithing, though, was it? Just mining? I have no idea. Okay, these trees are gone. I'm just going to go start burning some logs real quick. We can get back to the trees in a second and get that level 48. We got this really long line here where you can burn logs. It's very nice. Oh, there's some maple trees over here. Okay. Good to know. And they're right next to each other, even. Very convenient. It's not as good of a place to burn logs, though. We'd have to run down here, which I guess even makes more sense anyway than the current location, but whatever. But yeah. So we're doing fine on quest points. I just need to get training on a lot of skills. A whole lot of skills. Or doing quests that give experience, like I did with crafting. Because now there's more quests we can do that give crafting experience as a reward, and we could just train crafting through quests for a while, and it would probably work. Probably. We'll find out. Burn, burn, burn. Be nice to take a break from the woodcutting, though. Just because it is not that interesting. Yep. Good stuff. Come on. I thought I'd have the level by now. Real. But I guess not. We're very close, but we're not there. We will get the level 48, though. And that is what matters, because faster chopping is faster everything in woodcutting. I have exhausted my rings runs restore power for today. How sad. How very sad. My goal is set for what, level 50 or 60? Probably 60, right? Whereas I don't know that I have a goal set in fire making. Okay. So dead man mode is interesting. I guess I haven't talked about that. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'm not sure about its long-term viability under its current uh, rules, though. It's very... It's a very tricky thing. Like, it discourages PvP, and yet the risk of PvP kind of downplays the reward of actually playing. So... I'm not sure. Personally, I'm content with just focusing on the skills I have protected, and not really worrying too much about the others, because it, they just don't feel like they're worth it. I feel they need to do something. Now, the quest idea where you keep quest experience rewards, that would be a big bonus. Also, if it was half the level instead of half the XP, or maybe if there was, like, tiers or something. Like, I think I suggested before, like, if you hit level 50 and then you die, you can only go down to 25 or something. And then even if you die again, you'll still be at 25. So then, eventually, everyone would be resetting to level 50 and everything, instead of level 1, as it may be. Hey, level 48, though. That's good. I think that would work. Uh, I think it's good it starts off this way at the start, though, just because it'll help keep things more balanced. Well, it looks like we're not going to gain a fire-making level today, because... We are out of time. We have almost enough logs, though. Very close. So, probably at the start of next episode, we'll get that level out of the way. Just because we need to get rid of the logs I have. But, anyway, I'll figure out what to do with the rest of this week. This coming week, I guess. Really, it's not that week yet. 
Depends how you do your calendar, if you start on Sundays or Mondays. Personally, I do Mondays. It is one of those things that's just not standardized, though. We could do thieving. That'd be nice. But anyway, this has been Kebab799. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Like this video if you liked it. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you in the next episode.